Greetings friends. Today I want to share with you my latest computer pickup. It's an NEC Advanced Personal Computer. Yes, that's literally the name of the computer. It's a bold marketing strategy. Just call your product an amazing product and hope it sells. Based on the fact that I had never heard of this computer, and most of you probably haven't either, you can guess how that worked out. But in this case, it actually is a fairly advanced personal computer, at least for 1982 standards. It's also got a supersized keyboard cable, but a lot of things about this computer are supersized. Take for instance those floppy disk drives. Those are not for five and a quarter inch floppy disks. Those are not gonna cut it this time. This thing requires the big kahuna, eight inch floppy disks. In this case, they hold up to a megabyte of memory. Pretty impressive for the time. Underneath the monitor, you'll find some controls for your brightness and volume and this glorious power switch. Just listen to that floppy disk drive. Now this computer is pretty unique in that it runs CPM as well as DOS. This is one of the few machines that run DOS on 8 inch floppy disks. The APC uses an NEC 8086 CPU and ran at 5 MHz. It used the NEC 7220 graphic chips. The computer came with 128 kilobytes of RAM, although you could upgrade it to 640. It was also highly recommended that you wear suspenders while operating the machine. At around 5 grand, this was marketed as a superior business computer to those made by IBM. There were two different flavors of the APC. You had a color version that supported up to eight colors and a lower priced monochrome version. Looking at the back of the machine, you can see there is a mystery door and behind the door you have some standard ports. Not a whole lot going on here. With the keyboard, it includes a ground wire. A matter of fact, all of the ports have a ground connector next to them. There are no screws holding the cover in place, just two release levers, so it's really easy to get access to the inside of the machine if you need to do any repairs or add any expansions. You can see the floppy disk drives are actually half-height drives, and there are a total of five expansion slots. Looks like three of them are in use right now. All right, that's enough of the hardware side of things. Let's run some programs. As I mentioned earlier, these can be CPM or MS-DOS programs. Being that most of the software is text only, you'll find lots of text only games like Zork. Let me just say the experience of playing Zork on an early 80s computer like this is so unique. It's really something you can't emulate. And I know that sounds funny because it's a text only game, but the experience cannot be duplicated. Another program on this disc is Millionaire. I've actually played this game on the Apple II and I've seen it on the Commodore 64. It's probably one of the worst games of all time. But hey, I'm willing to give this one a shot. Maybe it's a superior version. After all, this is an advanced personal computer. Sit back and relax as it will take about four minutes to put together an exciting game for you. Four minutes just to start the game? This could be something exciting. Okay, I'll wait four minutes. Well, the good news is it loaded. The bad news, it's the exact same game that I remember. They could have at least added some additional colors. People shelved out $5,000 for this computer, and they still get monochrome millionaire. I did find some software that took advantage of the APC's capabilities. On this subscriber disk, there's a whole ton of unique programs and games. Let me just play a few of these for you. I'll start with this music file, AR Play. Here's some trippy CRT display program. Anyone for a game of solitaire poker? Hey, it's more exciting than Millionaire. I'll give it that. 
There was also this maze generator. You can display it in alpha characters or in a graphical mode. They're actually surprisingly complex, so if you're into mazes, this might be your thing. Among my favorite programs is this full screen clock. This thing is just awesome. Talk about your conversation piece. And there you have it, the NEC APC, a unique and obscure computer from an age of unique and obscure things, the 1980s. If you're into 80 pound Japanese computers with unusually large floppy disk drives, then this might be for you. Thank you for watching.